Hey guys, Opinionated Idiot here, and I wanted to jump in really quick with some breaking news. There has been a verdict in the Triple X Tiasian murder case. The verdict was handed down today to the three men that were accused of murdering the South Florida rapper back in June of 2018. Michael Boatwright, Trayvon Newsom, and Derek Williams were convicted today of robbery and murder of the South Florida rapper. The jury, based on the evidence, determined that Boatwright was the shooter. And we're gonna watch the verdict here being read. And what I want you guys to take note of, one of these clowns, is blowing kisses and smiling to the camera as the verdicts are being read. And this just tells you that this person has no regard for human life at all. Let's listen to the verdict. The verdicts appear to be in proper form. I'll publish. In the circuit court of the 17th Judicial Circuit in and for Broward County, Florida, the state of Florida versus Dieter Williams, verdict count one. We, the jury, find as follows as to the defendant, Dieter Williams, in this case, the defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree as charged in the indictment. Count two. We, the jury, Top find up. as follows as to the defendant, Dieter Williams, in this case, the defendant is guilty of armed robbery as charged in the indictment. Count one, we the jury find as follows as to the defendant Michael Boatwright in this case, the defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree as charged in the indictment. And this is the one that's gonna be blowing kisses to the camera. Keep your eye on him. Actually possess a firearm? Yes. During the course of the crime committed did the defendant Michael Boatwright actually discharge a firearm yes during the course of the crime committed did the defendant Michael Boatwright actually inflict death to Jose Onfroy as a result of discharging a firearm in his possession yes count two we the jury find as follows as to the defendant Michael Boatwright in this case the defendant is guilty of armed robbery as charged in the indictment during the course of the crime committed, did the defendant Michael Boatwright actually possess a firearm? Yes. During the course of the crime committed, did the defendant Michael Boatwright actually discharge a firearm? Yes. During the course of the crime committed, did the defendant Michael Boatwright actually inflict death to Jose Onfroy as a result of discharging a firearm in his possession? Yes. Verdict, count one, we the jury find as follows as to the defendant Trayvon Newsom in this case, the defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree as charged in the indictment. During the course of the crime committed, did the defendant Trayvon Newsom actually possess a firearm? Yes. Count two, we the jury find as follows as to the defendant Trayvon Newsom in this case, the defendant is guilty of armed robbery as charged in the indictment. During the course of the crime committed, did the defendant Trayvon Newsom actually possess a firearm? Yes. So let's say we all this 20th day of March, 2023 at Fort Lauderdale, Broward County, Florida, signed by the four person. Okay, I'm gonna pause it here. And this is where I want you to take note that Boatwright, the shooter, he will look at the camera as it pans over, starts smiling and blowing kisses to the camera. Let's check that out. Right there, there was the kiss. Do you see it? Well, I certainly don't wanna watch any more of this. Okay, so there you have it. There was the three verdicts in this case. And I have to say, the jury 100% got this correct. And I'm so happy that now X's family will have some peace. His friends will have some peace knowing that these three individuals have been caught and sent to prison for what they did. So what do you guys think? Leave your comments below. Do you think the jury got it correct in this case? I would love to hear what you guys have to say. If this is your first time over on my channel, please make sure to subscribe, comment down below, and give this a thumbs up. Turn on your bell notifications so every time I drop a new video 
or I go live, you guys will know. My live streams go every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope to see you all there. I am the opinionated idiot and always be opinionated. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.